Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of MakerBox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at the engine Lux filament from Colofab. So let's have a look at the intro. So this is an engine Lux filament and Lux maybe stand for a luxury filament. <laughs> it's an amazing filament, it looks really good. But here they say it's a engine blended with reflective material, uses diffuse reflection to scatter lights in all directions. And for the eye it's nearly impossible to spot layering, even at 0.2mm layer height. And they recommend the printing temperature of 220 to 240 and I was using 230 degrees as a profile for this filament. It was already set in slicer and you need to have a heated bed 75 to 85 uh, and they stayed here cold bed possible but tricky but i was getting good results on the pi sheet uh, on my prusa k3 printer but let's have a look at the prints so i started out with my maker coin and i actually printed two maker coins but it's coming out excellent and you can see the shine of this filament it's amazing and uh, the camera doesn't do it any <laughs> justice. <laughs> it looks more sh shiny in, in uh, naked eye, with a naked eye, but it's looking amazing and it was very, very clean prints. And the other maker coin also, it was coming out great, and no issues. And then printed out Misty Bali, and here I had some oozing issues at the retraction points. I don't know why I had this at this location but not on the remounting of the print it was something happening here that it's like a small blobs but other than that it came out excellent and uh, a little bit of stringing here with the blobs and i don't know i haven't had this issue with this filament before because i've already done a full review of the engine lux filament that's available on my channel and it came out excellent but this was looking really good. It's like a gold color. And here's the artist model by Gareth. And here it is coming out excellent. A tiny amount of stringing here in the topmost part. But other than that, it was not an issue and looking really good. A small blob here and maybe it's like a patchy building up some blobs on the nozzles. I'm not sure, but other other than that, it was coming out excellent and it look, looks really amazing. And here's the Omnum by Tessa. And this model is looking also excellent and there was just like a small amount of strings, like a small hairs here on the back. But other than that, it was coming out excellent and no issues here with the overhang. and. It was just in general looking really good, so I was quite happy with this filament. So this was a quick overview of the engine Lux from Colofab. I have done a full review of this filament in red color on my channel a few months ago, so you can have a look at that for a more detailed look and more prints. This was the prints I did with the samples I got. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.